Hey, YouTube Franks, brief explanation on how I conduct account reviews on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash slice. On my Twitch channel, there's a channel point redemption reward available on random days. For 20,000 channel points, I'll review your Genshin account. This takes around one to two weeks of watching and lurking the stream. On these random days, I will only do up to five and the redemption is on a first come first serve basis, open at the very start of the stream. When I say at the very start, I mean the literal first 10 seconds of when I press go live. I don't review a large amount of accounts as I prefer quality over quantity. Because of this, I highly recommend watching existing ones already on the YouTube channel. My tendencies are very similar and the patterns of what I look for are mostly the same. A lot of my viewers learn from existing reviews and end up not needing to redeem anything. How they work. With your consent, I will log onto your account, PC, mobile, or PlayStation, as long as you have a linked MiHoYo account, and I will interactively review your account on stream. I analyze your characters, weapons, artifacts to see what I can recommend for building around your favorite characters for Spiral Abyss or general compositions if Abyss is not your priority. Depending on the situation, I may rework your account, but in most cases, this isn't necessary. Lastly, I will never reach out to you first regarding these account reviews. Please be cautious. And that's it. Hope YouTube frogs enjoy it. YouTube frogs, welcome back to another video. This was an account review video. We are in the second half, basically the second half of 2.1 right now, which means that the abyss has been reset. So this is likely going to be the first account review dealing with the corrosion debuff on floor 11. So you've just swapped off of high tide, low tide, floor 12. We're now on floor 11, which has the corrosion debuff. And I would like to showcase or take a look or review this account because they are a triple crowned Kaching main. AR56, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a look at their Kaching. They are a 2.25k attack Kaching. It is a 71 crit rate, 211 crit damage with 110 recharge, just about 69.8 electro damage bonus. Nice. Off of the Mist Splitter Reforged. So they have a Mist Splitter Reforged. They're running a, that's right, you see it. They have 71. 211 with a four star goblet you're not seeing this incorrectly it is a four star goblet their stats give them 66 crit and 79 crit damage which is about a 1.5 ratio which is a decent investment and even more impressive given that they're using a four star their four star goblet they have mentioned to me that they have not seen a five star electro goblet in all their months of playing so unfortunately, they are forced to use this. It's still really good. It's got the perfect stats. It's just unfortunate that it's not a five star because if this were a five star and this had those upgrades, we'd be seeing a very wicked ka-ching. But regardless, these are the artifact stats that we're looking at for this ka-ching. Pretty solid. We're looking at a 33 crit value, 40 crit value, 36 to 37 crit value, 16 crit value. <laughs> Chad, this is a 16 crit value. Imagine if this was five star. This is 16 crit value, man. There's 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 a lot of room for improvement here, right? And then we have a 22. This is a really solid piece. But yeah, that's your Kaching. Just wanted to showcase, and then we're gonna be building compositions off it. Cool. Who do you like using besides Kaching? Are you a Eula gamer? Are you a Tarta gamer? Are you a Klee gamer? Or are you splitting up Raiden, Shogun, and Kaching into two different team comps? I'm assuming that you have these together, but I have no idea. You could also be running a Eula Raiden composition, which would be totally pog, but I don't know, right? Any team with Electro, I am happy. Who do you have well invested in? Because you can also do Tartak Raiden too. I would like one team with Kaching and one with Raiden. Okay, so that's that's easier to build around. Let's see your weapon choices. You have Skyward Harp Tartak. Skyward Harp Tartak is gonna be a pretty good combination. Let me see their stats really quick. Good. Ooh, that is actually... Oh, it's because you're using Primordial J-Wing it. Okay. I was going to say, these are really good stats if you did not use a crit-based weapon, but you're using crit-based weapon. It's still good, though. How's your Eula? 53, 126 with a 115 recharge. Not bad. A two-pale flame, and then you just have wander pieces for the stat stick, right? Yeah, it's just for the stats. How about your Tartek? Four Heart of Depth, 1.9k. Ooh, your Tartek. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay, maybe we're not going to use Tartek. Okay, we're going we're gonna to use Eula. Okay, Yula Raiden. I think Yula Raiden is a great composition as well. I haven't really built any other uh, character than Kaching and Raiden. Well, I think your Yula actually looks pretty solid. You're using the Unforged, but you're still able to get 53, 126 because uh, crit damage ascension, right? So not like terrible. Oh my goodness, your artifacts are kind of non-existent. Not gonna lie, man. Oh my, okay. Yeah, you, you, you can try this out. I would say that I haven't focused on Abyss, but now I want to get 36 star. Okay, are you okay with me using Chi Chi? Yeah, use any characters, okay. Your Chi Chi seems, whoa, your Chi Chi's actually kind of slapping. What the hell? 
Your Chi Chi's better invested than your other DPS characters. Are you okay with using Barbara? Because I want to teach you, I want to show the YouTube frogs or teach the YouTube frogs about an easy way to bypass corrosion. Because Barbara has one job, right? Barbara has a single job. It's to press Q when your team is about to die. That's literally it. She doesn't need to have any synergy with your team members. She just needs to press Q and keep your team alive. And that is at the end or at the beginning or the middle of your team composition. You don't need to worry about where. If you see that your team is on life support, you press Barbara's burst and you help her get her burst back, right? So all she needs is a bunch of HP percent and a bunch of energy recharge because she has an 80 cost burst. All right, for floor 11, uh, we're gonna need Hydro on both sides. Unless, do you trust your damage output? Because you can also technically overload the shields off for uh, for this. So you can technically uh, overload the Pyro Abyss Mage off, but for the Pyro Slinger, you need Hydro. Like this is a requirement. So do you want me to split the characters up? Do you want to put one Hydro on each side? Because we can do that. I'll give you the option, okay? Kaching Mona is going to be much better here. And we're going to use Eula for the physical on this, okay? Because all the Fatuis have minus 20% physical resistance. So we're going to use the Eula composition on the first tap. It's going to be a Eula, Raiden, Zhongli, plus Barbara. Strange, huh? Barbara is riding alongside the Archons here. The second team is going to be a Kaching Mona Chi Chi plus one composition. This next one can be, honestly, you can have Bennett for more damage bonus, right? And as a second healer, you can also have Sara if you have C6. You can also have Albedo for crystallized shielding. What do you want here? My Sara is C0. Okay. Then it would probably be better to use, for example, like Bennett or Albedo. Oh, you can also use Xingqiu if you want double Hydro for more healing. Pavonia sword here is great. Xiangli kind of ruins reactions, but that's okay. Uh, you could even use Tartag if you wanted to, but he's not really built. I would say Bennett is an option for the attack boost or Albedo for sub DPS. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay, so I'm just going to put Albedo. I don't actually know if you have the units ready though. How's your Albedo? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I actually... So the problem with Albedo is corrosion screws you up. I actually would not recommend Albedo. I just remembered this. Albedo is required Harbinger for the uh, for the HP above, right? Corrosion is going to make that impossible. So it's actually not beneficial to run Albedo on this composition. So we need to switch it up. Uh, in that particular case, then... Uh, I would just say Bennett, man. Yeah, your Bennett's also semi-built. I would say Bennett. Another option would be Beto, but I think Bennett is a secondary healer that I think would be beneficial to your team. Let's do this. Eula, Raiden, along with Zhongli, uh, Barbara. And then Ching, Mona, GG Bennett. I hope, I mean, your Kaching should be able to output enough damage. <laughs> Wow, I've not used Yula in so long. Holy sh Where are the other enemies? Oh, I did not kill them. Can you stop running? <laughs> All right, so your team is generally fine on HP right now. Okay, so your team is basically good on HP. This is good to... We're gonna just kill these. Moving on really quick. Okay. Hey, your team's on life support now. I need to get uh, Barbara's ulti back whenever. Is your Barbara's ult level? <laughs> I have 17,000 HP. <laughs> your Bar All right, let's see. Okay, so we're good. Okay, 
Oh, excuse me, chat. I'm getting some phone notifications. Um, telephone. Heels dang, man. Okay, I am back. They asked about my vehicle's extended warranty. I'm dendroed. I'm dendroed. I'm dendroed. I'm dendroed. I'm dendroed. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't die, Chi Chi. Okay, I think uh, you'll probably understand this rotation better than me. I'm kind of uh, mod checking for Peg. Yeah. I'm not dying, chat. Okay, listen. Bro, look at Chi Chi heal the whole team. Let's go. Woo! Chi-Chi! Dude, pop. <laughs> Chi-Chi keep you the whole team alive. Alright, I think it should be good. You, you already know how to play this, I'm pretty sure. And then Chi-Chi can heal up your entire team. Slowly but surely, take your time if you need to. All right, you will definitely play better than me in with your compositions. All right, Baki, does that give you a little bit of clarity on like rotation wise, right? Uh, I haven't played Yula and Zhang Li and those characters for a long time. So for me, my rotations are kind of scuffed. But with better rotations, uh, Barbara should be able to keep your team alive. And let me see your weapons. And your other team with Chi-Chi should be totally fine. I don't think you should have a problem with that. As for weapon choices, though. Yeah, we should be good. What is John Lee using? Pure HP base. You do not have a Favonius Lance. I would highly... Okay, so I think for some of your characters, you really need more burst particles. Especially for your first team. So your Eula, Raiden, Shogun team, I think your John Lee should definitely use Favonius Lance over Black Tassel. So Favonius Lance, your John Lee up. So at least you have one additional person to provide particles for. And Barbara, if you do not want to run Thrilling Tales, you can also run Favonius Codex, which I, see, which I see you have. But then you're going to need to build a little bit of crit on her and you need to auto with her. So you could just run, it, it's fine, it's either or. But I think Favonius at the very minimum needs Favonius Lance to give your team some energy regen. Okay. Weapons wise, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? For the other side with Kaching's side, uh, this is perfectly fine. Mona Witsith is more damage based, which is perfectly fine. I think that Chi Chi, in my opinion, I think that your team would survive longer if you ran Sacrificial Sword. The reason is because Kaching's burst cost is only 40, which is very low by default. So I think that it would be better if you ran Sacrificial Sword Chi Chi instead. But I would, I'll, I will leave this up to your personal playstyle because it's only 50% chance to proc. It only needs to proc technically once, right? Because you're going to be rotating it on her E, right? So, and then the last character on your team composition is who? Bennett. Bennett Black Sword is totally fine. Uh, I think Favonius Sword might be better on Bennett in this particular case, though. You'll be losing base attack, but you're gaining uh, recharge orbs. I think those are the only two small minor modifications I would make. Looks good. Okay, so your weapons generally look good. Uh, artifacts wise, I cannot really assist with reworking. I don't think. I think it'd be totally fine. Your Kaching looks good. Uh, your Raiden looks good. Four emblem. I am so sorry. I did not mean to just look at this artifact and just see 84 flat attack when you had perfect substats. I'm so sorry. Oh god, this was. Oh no! <laughs> They have decent stats too. Look, their stats are good, but they have this with 100 plus flat stats along with 84 flat attack. Oh gosh. You have at least four emblem though, so. All right, Eula, I think a little bit of... Just depends. I think oh, I think for Eula, you just look at better stat dude. pieces, right? But yeah, I think generally, I think you know how to build artifacts mostly so i'm not gonna assist you the crit rate on your mona is kind of mod chick not gonna lie man do you have any crit rate pieces that i can steal from are you using sarah right now 
You're not using... Okay, I'm gonna take this from Kaya, okay? Because, like, yeah. 47, 127, a little bit better. Do you have any hider bonus? Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. So this is fine. This is fine. You could still Tardex for now. Man, you look at your pieces, bro. 68 flat attack. 84 flat attack. Oh my god. Oh, this is... Oh. I mean, your Sara artifacts are kind of... Dude, this is uh what the heck? Hold on. Do you have anything here? Ah, uh, you don't have anything yet. Ah, I see. Okay. Ah, if you had a emblem piece of any sort, you could switch over, but you don't yet. Unlucky. Okay. Not yet. You can't switch that over yet. Okay. I think that you could potentially, I mean, your Sara looks like has decent stats. If you put those, by the way, I'm giving you another option. If you don't want to use Bennett on the Kaching side, which you might have noticed, it doesn't do like the best just for the attack buff and healing. If you want to switch it over, you can go ahead and run Beto. If you run Beto, switch your artifacts from your Kujo Sar over to Beto, okay? I want to I want to amend that, and I want to say that if you want to run double electro on that team comp, you'll also solve energy recharge issues. So just consider that option. If you do run, decide to run for Beto, this is a solid one. You can also run Favonius Greatsword, right? So, okay, so Jesus, should I just focus on artifacts for like the next 10 years? Yes. Also be probably building and crowning all electro characters. So should go to electro dungeon or farm somewhere else. Well, so in fact, you know, the crazy thing is, this is actually pretty important, right? When it comes to electro characters currently in the game, Thundering Fury Dungeon is an all right investment. But when it comes down to it, half the characters actually utilize emblem set better. The most prevalent ones that we know are Kaching, Raiden Shogun, Beidou, and Fischl. Raiden Shogun and Beidou are both emblem best in slot users, so you don't actually even run Thundering Fury. The thing with Kaching is that you don't necessarily need to run two piece Thundering. She can run whatever pieces. If you want to, you can also run emblem on Kaching too. Kujo Sara is a noblesse user. She doesn't actually run Thundering because she's more of a buffing support. Fischl is one of those cases where two Thundering is one of her best electro support setups. But that kind of is really it because Lisa also is emblem best. So like at the end of the day, if you're trying to crown all electro characters, I would still say emblem is the best dungeon for them, right? I mean, it's fitting. I mean, the emblem dungeon is Inazuma's artifact dungeon. So you might as well just live in Inazuma since you're crowning all electro anyway. So I should do emblem, emblem dungeon and no bless. I would say emblem for sure right now. And if you really want to, you can use that artifact strong box and hopefully you get better luck than me and get some noblesse pieces from there. All right, chat. I think that should wrap it up for this account review video. I did not do any artifact rolling because their account has basically no artifacts to work with. They are 217 out of 1000. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. This is a triple crown kaching. And the purpose of this video is more for team composition building. You guys saw what I was trying to do, what I was trying to teach when it comes to floor 11 corrosion debuff. Floor 12 is a strict DPS check. So honestly, any standard composition works perfectly fine. So we're just looking at what new compositions you would try to work around in order to get by that corrosion debuff so if you guys enjoy the counter video hope that helped you a little bit with investing in characters you normally don't see as you saw this is the first time that i've actually ever recommended using chi chi and using barbara specifically for an abyss clear consider liking and subscribing thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video take care